Good morning. Today I have a luxury haul for you. I have a few items, few new items I um, got recently. Um, this season has special effect on me. I mean, I have to shop more than usual if it's even possible. I ended up with two Louis Vuitton items actually. Two Louis Vuitton items and one Gucci item. Gucci collaboration with uh, Balenciaga. As you can see, it's a true unboxing. I um, did not um, open it yet. Kind of hold it myself. I'm not allowed to open this either because technically it's my Christmas gift. I'm just gonna tie it back and my husband will never know. He doesn't watch my videos. And um, I'm gonna start with Louis Vuitton. Okay. As you can see, it's a holiday packaging and what's different about Louis Vuitton bag is young Louis Vuitton on one side of the bag and um, regular Louis Vuitton sign on another bag but um, I never saw Louis Vuitton uh, portrait as a young man pretty handsome huh um, and I have one more item here but we will get to it later okay let me open this Stop the video for a second and try to guess what bag is this. I'm gonna give you a little hint. <laughs> I gave you a very good hint. Okay, so here we go. Louis Vuitton loop bag. And um, it has a metal chain and of course it has a strap which is very adjustable and um, let me put it on the bag okay so story of this bag I saw this bag on um, Instagram and I saw it a lot it's also comes in a um, I think denim version or canvas version I don't remember and I like the bag, but for some reason, I saw that is this bag is very structured. I saw that it's like a hard structure here from the picture. So when I went to visit my essay at my Louis Vuitton store, she showed me this bag and I was very surprised that it's very pliable and soft. So I grabbed it right away. This is a tag. So this bag called Loop Monogram. And it has microfiber lining, which I'm very happy about. This is lining, this lining I like the most. It's basically no pockets, nothing on the inside. There is a one pocket on the outside. I don't know what's gonna fit in there, but mask will fit and probably probably card holder will fit when I'll do review of this bag I'm going to show you everything what fits and um, so this is basically it and you have option to wear it with this chain or with this strap and that strap can go all the way down and it's going to be cross body bag let me show you. I'm gonna put it on the longest adjustment. Hold on, what's going on here? Oh, okay, so that's the longest adjustment. And you can basically do it this way, but you, you won't be able to clip it, which is fine. If you wanna clip it, 
then you have to go a little bit shorter. So let me show you all our options on me. So this is not the longest way, but that's the longest way when you can basically clip the strap together, see? You remember I'm 5'8", so that's how it looks on me. Can I do the crossbody on this adjustment? Yes. It's going to come a little bit high, that basically is my waist, but I like it. Okay, now let me put it on the longest one. I'm gonna put it on the longest one, but I'm not gonna clip them together. It's just gonna be like that. And then it comes down much lower. Oh, so good. Guys, I like this bag a lot, oh my God. I think it's gonna be my new favorite Louis Vuitton bag. And you can wear it as a um, this side out with the chain. You can take chain off too. And wear it without chain. And let me put it on a shortest strap adjustment, which can then be This is shortest way on a strap. If you want it shorter, you will have to put chain on and wear it with a chain. This says Louis Vuitton right here. It's still plastic on. I think Vachetta is pre-treated, not sure, but I think they start doing pre-treated Vachetta a lot. Because if you compare it to my new Speedy Twin, you see how different it is. So this is pre-treated and this is raw Vachetta, which is gonna patina. I don't know if this patina, maybe patinas, maybe a little bit, but on my other bags, it, which have pre-treated patina, pre-treated um, Vachetta, it, I don't think it got any darker. I'm going to check later, but look how different it is. Um, I talked about this back in um, one of my previous videos. I think it's video right before this one. So if you're interested, check it out. But this is the most adorable, cute, speedy I ever seen. Celine has a bag shaped like this. And I was like looking at them also. But as you know, I'm a Louis Vuitton fan. So when I realized that this bag is, wait a minute, what's going on here? See, when I clip on the shorter side, see how this is longer than this? And it does not, see how like it's extra strap here. Hmm. Uh, are the old bags right like this? Kind of bothers me a little bit. Oh, okay. Okay, guys. Okay. Um, see, like this way it loops and this way it's fine. So I guess I had it wrong way a little bit. Let's try it. Let's try it because I'm very curious. Whoo, I got scared for a second. Yes, guys. Okay, I take my, I take my concern back. This is perfectly fine, but if you turn it this way, that it seems like this is longer, but basically this meant to be, the long one meant to be on top, obviously. Okay, here you go, perfect back, no flaws. Adorable. This is gonna be my favorite bag, guys, I'm telling you, because it's 
First of all, it's pre-treated by cheddar. Second of all, it's very soft and pliable. It's very trendy shape, that, how you call it, half moon shape. By the way, it, I remember it's been in a trend like, trend like 20 years ago, this kind of shape, it came back. And you can wear it crossbody. You can wear it with strap on the shoulder and you can wear it with the chain on the shoulder with strap hanging or you can take a strap out everything is detachable everything is adjustable very happy with this the price was the price of this bag is two thousand hundred twenty dollars plus tax um very cute very happy very happy with this extremely excited and um I have to uh, go out today, meaning run some errands, pick up some stuff. And I'm gonna wear this, guys. Cute. Okay, let me show another item from, from Louis Vuitton. Here, right here. This is my first fine jewelry item from Louis Vuitton. Um, was looking at this necklace for a while and uh but i saw it on a um, website or i saw it on uh, somebody i don't remember it wasn't available in the store my sa offered to order it for me but then i had to buy it i was not ready to buy it without without seeing it i know i can return it but i don't i don't like that you know ordering it buying it and then returning it out so but when it became available in the store and i could look at it myself notified me and i tried it i touched it and i liked it a lot okay so it comes in a return box and then it comes in cutest cutest box like that where is it okay it's not here because i'm wearing it i wore it right out of the store this is let me move my cross in the back so you can see it um this is louis vuitton necklace as you can see it's two l it's lv attach to each other it's kind of play of letters and um it also looks like heartbeat that's what i was um told the story behind this so basically the designer made, made it looking like heartbeat but also it represents lv and I, guys i gotta say this is very heavy they were not stingy on the amount of gold they put in this pendant, but it's solid. You can tell it's solid. I was avoiding Louis Vuitton uh, jewelry before for its price. So right now it's on 18 inches, but it's adjustable to shorter version. Right, that it has a little loop. The reason I was avoiding LV jewelry because most of it is very um, logo-y. This is your kind of, yeah, it is LV, but it's not so obvious LV, you know? That's one thing. And another thing, they're quite pricey comparing even with Cartier. So, like, this necklace is $2,780. So, I was like... I rather uh, buy non jewelry uh, from non jewelry brand for less money for similar item than from jewelry from Louis Vuitton. You know, Louis Vuitton started making jewelry lately. It was not uh, part of the brand before. But you know what? This is exception for me. First of all, I just I just like it. You just I love it. I love it. Second of all, I want to try something different aside from Tiffany Cartier. And um, that was perfect for it. Yeah, it is quite expensive. It probably not gonna have 
uh, resell, high resell value, but come on, you can buy everything just as an investment, right? And thinking about how much you're gonna resell it for later, not all the time. And um, as of now, I'm not planning to resell it. I kind of like it very much. I like the way it looks. I like the way it hits on my neck. So, and look at the chain. This, for example, this is Cartier cross, right? And see how thin chain is, which is could be plus for somebody uh, because it's very dainty. This is much heftier. The same length, but much heftier chain. And it has like, it has a weight to it. This is, this is like a feather, but this has weight to it. Um, okay. And, and this cross has diamonds, but it was less money, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it was less money than this Louis Vuitton uh, necklace. Okay, so did I tell you how much it, it is? Okay, $2,780 plus tax. Okay, this is all about my new Louis Vuitton purchases. And I like the bag. I'm definitely gonna save this bag because uh, they put him on a bag because I think it's, he was born at his anniversary. I think he would be like 200 years, um, at his 200 year anniversary. Uh, I believe that's why they honored him on a shopping bag. Okay. Now, moving on. On my next purchase, this thing from Gucci Balenciaga collaboration. Okay, so when this line came out, uh, I, I like the collaboration, I like merge of my merge of two brands I quite like and um, when I saw especially this bag yeah this is a bag I told myself yeah I would like to see this bag and well in person I uh, go in the city last weekend and I see it on display in a uh, socks so I looked at it this version of the bag came out in two options raw canvas and um coated canvas um, they didn't have a um, coated canvas but to be honest between those two i like this the most okay let me show it at least before i start talking about it okay this is also trend boxing i didn't touch it as you can tell this is not a small bag. And look at the dust bag. It's half Balenciaga dust bag and half Gucci. Okay, ready? Again, I want you to pause it and tell me what you think it is. What bag do you think it is? Okay. Here you go. This is... Balenciaga Gucci. I don't know how to call it. Hold on. What is it called officially? Handbag CD with mirror. Okay. So it, it, it does call. It called uh, CD bag as original Balenciaga CD bag. But in Gucci canvas, this is raw canvas and leather. The one with corded canvas did not have a leather trimming. It's just, that's what I saw from picture. They didn't have it in stock. So Saks had two bags left. One that was already claimed for, and I grabbed this one. I mean, first of all, I like this CD bag, and this is size I like the most. And on top of that, it's in Gucci canvas, come on. And it's very nice and roomy. It has a zipper on top. It has two packets here, it has zipped packet here. And lining is the canvas lining, says Balenciaga on it. 
and it does have a mirror as all uh, Gucci, um, I mean, Balenciaga CD bags have, which honestly I find I never use, but uh, I know people love it, but I'm, I'm gonna detach it and put it away. I feel like this bag hits a lot of spots. It's like big roomy everyday bag. Plus, I see it as a travel bag. I see it as a travel bag, not that big travel bag, but carry on bag. It has a strap. Strap is adjustable. And right now it's an, uh, oh, I have, few more holes to go shorter and I have two more to go longer so this is somewhere in the middle I think it's perfect love it love it love it love it love it love it very much um as you know I don't have Gucci bags one, if you know the story, one bag I have uh, um, ended up to be fake. I bought it from Mercari. Um, I have actually a video about it, um, uh, how I find out that um, my Gucci bag was uh, fake. Uh, and uh, so basically this is my, is it? Sorry, I also have a Gucci belt bag. Yeah, big belt bag. So it's my second Gucci bag and first Gucci Balenciaga, of course. So it has those details here. Love city bag. I love this since they came out. Like how many years ago? 20 years ago or even more. Loved it since then. I had one, then I sold one, then I had smaller one. I sold smaller one. Um, it kind of died down, but this and canvas it's it died down and then it came back and um this in canvas is just it just okay guys this is it this is all i wanted to show you today i hope to show you something else from gucci also very hot item but it didn't came yet so i will end up it's not a bag so I'm gonna show you another time. Let me know what you think about my purchases. If you have any of this bag, share your experience with it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed yet and don't forget to press that bell notification button so you can get notified every time I post a new video. Also follow me on Instagram uh at the same handle love me some lux and there is the button on my channel header you can click on it and it will take you straight to my instagram channel i do a lot of small unboxings there and i try to post my outfits of the day so you can see something there you can you don't see on um, my youtube channel okay i wish you health i wish you happiness and i'll see you in the next video bye